Evening, everyone. How's it going out there? Hope everyone's enjoying their Saturday. I wanted to show you what I've been uh, dealing with here for three weeks now, straight. Temperatures in the low 40s, day and night. No sunshine, persistent, thick layer of fog out here. Uh, it's starting to come in right now pretty good. I'm starting to see it settle in in certain areas. I uh, got visibility down to about a quarter of a mile or so. Uh, at night, it gets really thick. In the daytime, it lifts a little bit, but not much. Maybe if we're lucky, 100 feet off the ground. <laughs> how's it going there from Seattle? Thanks for checking in. Uh, how's it going there? Oh, I'm not for sure how to pronounce that. I see ST something. Uh, anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you guys the fog here at the ground level. Uh, those trees over there in the distance should be pretty visible, but they're, they're pretty hazy. Normally, I kind of show my members, you know, my home front, what's going on here on the family side. But I just wanted to share with the entire channel here, you know, the view of where I'm at and the radiation fog that's out here. Better known as Thule fog. And this is the thickest, most persistent fog bank stratus layer I've seen since the mid 90s. Pretty crazy, huh? But that's what it looks like. No sunshine, just gray skies. And I love it, 42 degrees. I think the little ones love it as well. <laughs> uh, but they're all bundled up. It's almost like it's snowing out here, huh? Isn't it cold? Did you get your feet all warmed up? She got some nice uh, new boots there. That'll keep your feet nice and warm. <laughs> But uh, anyway, yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy. I don't mind it. It's very depressing for a lot of people because they need that daily sunshine. I get it. The sunshine's great. But here in Northern California in the Sacramento Valley, we normally have it all year long. You know, there's only a couple months here where we get rain and clouds and fog. So I'll take it. But yeah, up above this fog level, you know, where it's 41, 42 degrees up in the mountains and the foothills, they're in the mid 70s. The mid 70s, and we're at 42 degrees in the Sacramento Valley. The inversion layer is crazy out here. But uh, anyway, it's cold. I like it. <laughs> I like it. The leaves haven't quite fallen yet uh, from the mulberry. That's a fruitless mulberry tree. The uh, pecan tree, yes, that uh, looks done. Some branches I need to pick up and put in the burn pile. But uh, yeah, everything's green out here. We did have a couple inches of rain back in November. And then after that ended, well, <laughs> we got uh, the fog. Seems like a few days before Thanksgiving, it just came in and it's been persistent. We got a couple more days before it goes away. Then the rain comes back. But uh, anyway, whoo, it's kind of... Sharing the view out here with the entire channel. Normally it's for members only, but I, you know, it's, it's good to share what my eyes are seeing with the entirety of the channel uh, viewers out here. That's my doggy. Uh, his name is Chomper. And he's just going up along the uh, fence line there, kind of doing his thing, you know, marking the property. We got some ducks over here as well. Can't remember their names. The kids named them. <laughs> See, I do know your name. Your name's Foxy, right? Foxy. That's Foxy right here. The mama. She's a mama to these uh, two. Uh, I think they're called Pekin ducks because they were mixed with uh, uh, the white ducks. I can't remember exactly. Missy Mimi's knows all that information here. But yeah, look at this walnut tree here. Beautiful leaves on it. This here is a uh, pistachio tree that's lost all of its leaves, of course. Still some pistachios on there, but uh, and th there was a lot of, on there. I got quite a bit as well. I like to pack them up, put them in Ziploc bags, and save them and eat them uh, raw throughout the winter. But this is the uh, English walnut tree. Dropped uh, quite a bit of leaves right now, yellow leaves. Lots of yellow. 
And I still have some cracks in the ground out here. It's on the other side of this fence. I'd have to go around the, the duck shed. Let me see if I can zoom in here. There's a couple, you know, pretty decent cracks out here. I'm sure you guys can see it kind of going along this area. They get pretty wide, pretty deep um, in the summertime, but it may have something to do with the clay type nature of the soil uh, that creates these, you know, the giant cracks. Cause these are nothing, but in the summertime, man, they're normally uh, like six to seven inches wide and then they go down feet. I appreciate that, all the kind words there. Um, I, di I didn't get a chance to read every single comment, but I will once I get back inside. I just wanted, like I said, I just wanted to share the view with you guys here. You know, just dark, cra crazy, cold, overcast. It's like living along the Northern California coastline. But I think they're actually warmer over there with sunshine right now than it is here. I mean, 42 degrees every single day for a daytime high. <laughs> but these kids like it. This one, I think, does. Don't you want some snow? Which we never get here, by the way. It, we don't get snow here. Not in the Sacramento Valley. It happens once every 15 years. What's up? Um, I got me one lemon. You got her a lemon off Mama's tree? Okay. Okay. Only one. Only one lemon? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Missy. Huh. You doing a karate chop? Karate kick? <laughs> So <laughs> you won't fall down. You're good. Anyway, folks. All right, I'm gonna jump off here because this one probably wants to go swing in the hammock swing and just enjoy the outside time, right? You like swinging? <laughs> Have a good one. Um, we will see you guys out here. We'll see you guys out here for the Saturday night update. Um. And then we'll chat quite a bit about earthquake activity and whatnot. But yeah, ground level view here. Radiation fog. You know, I don't I don't know what the uh pollutant air ratio is right now. They say when there's an inversion layer like this, that the air gets, you know, stagnant and it's uh got pollutants in it. But it smells, you know, as fresh as can be right now. So I I don't know. Of course, I'm not really around any major populated city. The closest one's going to be Chico. Sacramento is a ways down there. But um, I to me, it's just refreshing, absolutely re refreshing here. Look. Which is a <laughs> normally not like this. Like I said, it's been um, it's been 30 years. It's foggy. It's been really foggy. Yes, it has really, really foggy. And. Uh, Something that I haven't seen since the mid-90s here, so. I probably won't see it again. It takes a specific pattern set up here for it to stay persistent like this. But it's setting. Look at this. starting to come back down to ground level. Back over here as well. In the nighttime, it just it, we get this persistent drizzle as well. The ground looks dry, but we have a lot of moth growing on it. I even got mushrooms popping up all over. Uh, because of it being a you know consistent temperature along with the moisture out here but uh yeah a couple more days of this and then we got a bunch of rain coming in thanks for watching folks we'll see you guys out here a little bit later on this evening all right hope you enjoyed like i say i normally do stuff like this for the members only but you know i thought why not oh i hear some somebody crying so i better go see what's up <laughs> kids have a good one folks we'll see you guys in a little bit